So here I have a new scene in Nomad Sculpt. I'll just get rid of the sphere, add a cube, and turn the wireframe on. I don't need these many polygons, so I will just decrease the number by sliding it to the left as I showed in the previous tutorial. I'll go all the way down to how about two? Yeah, I'm satisfied. So let's just click on validate and we have our cube. Now, if I want to, uh, you know, add more subdivisions like so, you see the edges are turning round. I don't want that. I want the edges to be chiseled, but not razor sharp. So how do I do that? Let's undo. It's really simple. All you have to do is manipulate the edges like so. So go to the upper right corner and click on this wrench icon and select cell mask brush. Make sure the symmetry is on over here. Select the rectangle option and just select these middle two edge loops. Click on the outside to invert it. You can do it like this too. You see this brass icon? If you click on it, you'll see that you can clear, invert, blur or sharpen. You can invert it this way as well. So now select the gizmo option. You see this red, uh, I'm sorry, the yellow circle. This is for scaling. Now, if I scale it and drag it to the right, it will simply just slide it, slide these edge loops to where I want them to be. Now, I will just continue doing that. So, simply select this. Just clear this. You can clear this from here as well. And continue doing this. Select these two edges, invert. Select the gizmo. Now this time I will select this upper scale and simply do the, the thing I showed you earlier and slide these edges, edge loops near the edge of the cube. Cool so far. Now let's go to the top view. Only two edge loops are left. Let's just continue doing. Clear the mask, select the mask, invert them. Select the gizmo, choose this one, the scale one and slide them like so to the edge. Cool. Now just clear the mask. So now we have a cube and we, it has like edge loops near its edges. Now if I subdivide it like so, you see how the edges are chiseled now? But look, now why did I show you this? Why is it important? You might ask right so let's say go I, I just go over here and add a default cube like so and validate it and simply add by just drag it over here to the left and um, now this is the cube on the right I just created with the you know the low poly one and this one on the left is the, the new one with a lot of lot more poly count, higher poly count, right? So just turn the wireframe on. See how many poly counts. All these are really not necessary. If I subdivide it now, we'll get this almost the same result. You really can't tell any difference. It's hard to distinguish. But you see all these polygons of the of the left cube on the left hand left hand side, these are redundant. You don't really need them. So you can maintain the low poly and get that polished look at the same time by using the strategy I just 
showed you. Thanks for watching.